Item number SCP-791. Index, water orb. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. Containment area is to have a sealed drainage system, and any materials or liquids collected are to be submitted for testing and review. Emergency drainage systems are to be maintained at all times, and must possess no fewer than eight filtration screens. SCP-791 is to be held in a wide-weave steel mesh bag to allow for ease of location in a draining event and to pre-contain any biological events. Removal from the bag may only be done under testing conditions. Description SCP-791 appears to be a mass of liquid water held in a spherical shape by an unknown and undetectable force. Biological tissues can pass through SCP-791 as they would through normal water, and reports indicate the water to be similar to normal sea water, but with a lower salt content. It is impossible to splash SCP-791. However, water may be drawn out via the hands or mouth. SCP-791 reacts to non-biological materials, such as stone or metal, as if it were a sphere of solid concrete. SCP-791 may be lifted, rolled, or otherwise manipulated in this way, but acquiring samples with non-biological materials is extremely difficult due to the extreme hardness and weight of SCP-791. SCP-791 does not reduce in dimensions when water is drawn from it. This is true even with drawing very high volumes of water. The water of SCP-791 is sterile and contains no microbes of any kind. It is almost identical to earth water, but has a slightly elevated amount of hydrogen. SCP-791 will randomly undergo draining events where massive amounts of water will pour from SCP-791. SCP-791 retains its properties during these events, and draining can last between several hours to four months. Items will sometimes exit SCP-791. It is unknown where these items originate from. The most appear to be oceanic in origin. Items resembling seaweed, fish, plankton, data expunged, note possible awareness. The like entities have occurred multiple times and have data expunged unknown communication via and similar alternate realities observed via SCP-2684. SCP-3347 or indirectly through SCP-257.